Call the another word personnel it. and higher education right. meeting to order. Okay. First item of business to approve the minutes of last month's meeting. I have a motion by Supervisor Soko, second by Supervisor Molino. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. First up will be uh, SUNY Adirondack, Dr. Duffy. Good morning, everyone. Well, I won't be brief, but I just have a couple updates. Uh, so first, thank you for those of you who are able to attend a couple of our ribbon cuttings. September was a very busy month for the college. Of course, the opening of the school is always exciting for us. But we had our uh, ribbon cutting for Adirondack Hall now in its completion on September 7th and had a, a beautiful day considering we broke ground in snow and uh, opened the science wing in hail. We thought we deserved at least one good day and we got that. So uh, it was a great event for the college. And of course the classrooms are bustling, our new nursing facilities, our conference center, the entrepreneurship center are all busy um, serving our community and our students. Um, and then of course the Culinary Center did its official opening on September 26th and wow what a crowd. I think we had over 200 people there um, which was great. It was great to see not only you know invited guests but also just members of the community that had simply walked in and, and were able to enjoy the facility. Um, so thank you uh, for all of your support on that and um, it'll the, re the restaurant season will officially open next week. We needed to get the students up and running for a month or so so they know what they're doing and um, they're ready to serve lunches and dinners starting next Wednesday. So I do hope you're able to take advantage of a dinner or a grab-and-go lunch this semester and then we'll, we'll switch the schedule up a little bit in the spring. Um, and then uh, I want to extend an invitation I'll follow up with a formal email but we do have Chancellor Johnson, the new Sort of new, she's been here over a year, the new chancellor for the State University of New York, the SUNY system. She'll be on campus a week from tomorrow for a tour and um, we'll do a, a meet and greet for the first half hour from 9 to 9.30. We'd love to have you come over if you're if you're available. We'll send the details to you in an email um, and through your, your support system um, to let you know the details, but certainly just an opportunity to say hello and I'm sure she would love to meet any of you that are able to attend. And then my final update is just about enrollment in general. Um, so we're slightly below where we were last year in enrollment. We're kind of following the trend, although not quite as extensive as our peers, not only in New York, but across the country. Enrollment is down at many institutions, not just community colleges. And a lot of that is, is subject to the demographics of our shrinking high school population, um, not only in New York, but much of the Northeast. So, um, but I can tell you that our accelerated business degree program, which I, we talked about with this group um, before, we launched with a full cohort that we were expecting. We have exactly meeting the needs that we had hoped. The students in the program are all working full time and able to also balance um, working towards their degree at night, two nights a week, and um, uh, for all different reasons, which is really what we had hoped to accomplish, so we're really proud of that. Um, but we'll continue to, to address our enrollment. Um, we're, one shortfall we had, which we think we'll be making up in the spring, is in our high school program. Um, the courses that we thought were going to be offered in the fall and enrolled are actually going to be offered in the spring. So we expect to make that up in the spring and exceed our budgeted goal for that. So we should be in, in fine shape. Um, and um, as always, we'll begin our budget advocacy for the state funding here in the next month or so. And we'll certainly keep you posted in terms of um, our, our approach and what our ask will be for the state and to continue to support community colleges. So that's my update and I'm happy to answer this question. Um, the dorm, how, how are, are, is the dorm full? We're at 402, which is just where we need to be. Okay. Any questions? Yes. Just a comment on full support of everything the college does. I can't make these 9 or 9.30 show true, so someday I'm going to call you and I'd like to have you give me a tour of some of the stuff that I Anytime. missed, but I just, uh, with my change in my lifestyle, I just cannot make 9 or 9.30 meetings nowhere. No, we're happy nowhere. to, to Thank give you. you a personal tour. Thank you. Any other questions for Dr. Duffy? Thank you for coming in. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, uh, Human Resource Director, you want to, uh, Jackie, you have the floor? Um, my first item is the Wait. bills. Anybody has any questions <coughs> or cash? <coughs> and doesn't, then doesn't look like in Ju June we filled too many, but August there was a lot of vacancies. I think there was a long, um, that was one of our longer stretches between meetings, 
so we capture them on the personnel agenda for everything that went through between the two dates. So I think August just, there was, maybe we had five or six weeks between um, personnel meetings. No reason, okay. Any questions on the vacancy list? Okay, next, next. the budget. Yep, I have my budget. Um, on the following several pages, I think you'll see that my requests are pretty similar to last year's. I had increases in a couple of codes. One was for um, telephone, just so Jennifer and I can use, either get a MiFi or use my county cell phone as a hotspot when we're doing open enrollment meetings and other types of meetings at um, DPW or the hatchery when we're not hooked to the internet here. Um, and in our 470 contract fees, I did ask for an additional amount of money um, for the upcoming state-mandated sexual harassment training for all of our employees. Tell that. So those were the basically the two kind of increases for our department budget for the year, but I'm happy to answer any questions. Any questions on uh, the budget for HR? <clears throat> okay, no questions? Okay, we'll move to uh, civil service. Thank you, Jackie. <laughs> civil service is the budget. Good morning. Good morning. Um, our budget is for uh, the personal services, equipment, and contractual fairly budget neutral. It is budget neutral, a little bit lower. Um, we did move some money around in our anticipated expense codes. Um, uh, the big change is we'll be paying for postage for all our testing the state used to pay, so we just moved some money around and we think we can cover that with what we have. Um, some of the other changes are just anticipated um, use. We're looking to advertise more things like that. But uh, um, otherwise, we're working with what we have and we appreciate um, the funding opportunity you're offering us. It looks pretty straightforward. Um, a lot more tests coming up. Do we have um, a lot of vacancies, or, we or have, would you say normal? Yeah, the, the, um, we have a lot of tests. We're um, moving through um, some changes. We're looking to do online applications. Um, there's some issues. Corrections officers, as you know, there's been issues as to. Um, how to fill that. The state has actually responded and they're having an additional test and we're holding it in November. We're actually getting a good count for that. So I think working with the state um, on the testing and we're looking to change how we're functioning going from some straightforward to continuous recruitment. Um, and we're doing pretty well in the mid-level um, positions that are really the guts of all our agencies, town schools and county. So. Um, um, I think it's going well, and we're hoping in the next year to have a lot of progress. Would you say there's more people taking civil service tests, about the same, or less people now taking civil I service? I think it depends on the level and the level of um, specialty. So our higher level position planners, as you know, has been a difficulty in positions that have um, higher level credentials. <coughs> we have, we, um, we, we along with a lot of um, counties across the state, uh, don't have as many applicants for those positions. Um, we have been able to recruit good um, um, provisional to then sit for the exam on the mid-level, as I said, for um, the mid-level clerical, we've been holding them and we're actually getting quite a large uh, cross-section of people sitting, um, new candidates, and our agencies have been happy with the appointments we've been doing lately, so we're happy on that. Um, things like custodians, all those which sound like basic, um, keeping those lists fresh and good, uh, good um, candidates um, from there to higher level office specialists, all of those kinds of things um, we're doing well. The higher level we're working on, we're talking to department heads. I talked to Ryan yesterday a little bit about um, possible how to go forward to provide people who are appointed off lists appropriately. Thank you. Any questions for Trish? Thank you, Trish. Okay, we go right on to vacancies. Uh, we had a re <coughs> referral from the county facilities uh, 
committee about the airport maintenance worker. This is actually a reduction in salary for the city airport maintenance worker, correct, Kevin? And it was all passed through committee. Any questions on that? Motion to approve the airport. Motion by Supervisor Leggett, second by Supervisor Frazier. Any more discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Uh, referral from economic growth and, de and uh, development. This is uh, to change the GIS coordinator from part-time to full-time. Again, vet it effectively in committee. Um, any questions about that? Somebody want to make a motion to move that forward? Motion by Supervisor Merlino, second by Supervisor Sokol. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Aye. Carried. Referral from Health, Human, and Social Services Committee, Health Services. Request to reclassify the position of Community Services Worker Number 2, base salary of 34102 to Senior Community Service Worker, Grade 11, base <coughs> annual salary of 37256, uh, effective October 22nd. Uh, any, any questions about this position? Again, it went through committee. Any questions? Any motion to move it forward? A motion by Supervisor Frazier. Do we have a second? by Supervisor McDevitt. Any other discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Carried. A request from the Clerk of the Board. A request for authorization to enroll the Warren County and National Association of Counties annual membership $1,341. No, <coughs> this expense is not in the 2019 budget. Uh, discussion? Yes. You making a motion by Supervisor Bramer. Do we have a second? Second by Supervisor McDevitt. Any questions about this? This is the National Association of Counties. Uh, this is the one that's led by uh, Matt Chase, who was a former resident of Cleverdale, Lake George. And um, he's been up here before to meet with us, and we did go to the national headquarters when we made our trip to D.C., <coughs> uh, where they're located. Any other discussion? Uh, we have a motion. We have a second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. We'll move it on to uh, finance to find a source of funding. Next is a uh, request to appoint G. Travis Whitehead to fill the Warren County vacant position on Warren, Washington County's IDA and CDC due to the resignation of Lou Tessier. Somebody want to make that a motion? A motion by Supervisor McDevitt. I'll second that motion. Any discussion? What does G stand for? Huh? What does G stand for? G? Gary, I think, right? <laughs> any uh, any further discussion? I was wondering the same thing. <laughs> All those in favor? Yes. Right. I'm just going to say I think Travis will be a good addition. Right? Yep. All those in favor? Signify aye by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Carry. Okay. Next. The ethics membership. Uh, Mary, do you have an update on that? Or are we full? Or? There's one more vacancy on the government position. Um, it would be an alternate. I got emails from both Catherine Atherton and Bob Curtis, who are both interested. <coughs> um, so the committee can pick one of the two. Okay, what's the pleasure of the committee? Um, I know Mr. Curtis has a lot of experience you know, in government, and I don't know about uh, the other lady, but does anyone want to pine for either one of them? I, I've known Bob for a long time, you know, having served on the council, but he is probably the most knowledgeable person right. within the city of Glens Falls as it relates to any of those right. issues. So, right. it, uh, he, uh, so right. I, he, uh, he, he, he would be an excellent addition in terms of his understanding of, of government structure, no question about it. Yeah. Any other comments about Mr. Kirst? Yes. Oh, I did want to speak in support of Catherine Atherton. She is uh, um, new to the board in Queensbury, but she is a long-time professional and would be great on that board. Okay, so we have one-on-one. Any other comments? Supervisor Driscoll. I want to concur with, with both comments. Uh, <coughs> I know Bob Curtis uh, uh, a lot better than I do this afternoon. Any any other comments from the committee? We have to pick one of the two, so just make a recommendation. Mr. How many for Mr. Curtis? Show of hands. How many for Miss Abbott? Uh, Athen Atherton? Is it one, two, three? I guess it's Mr. Curtis wins four to three. 
so we'll notify them and and we'll send letters out thanking both of them and tell her to keep her we'll keep her application on file in case we have a vacancy okay i need a form of a resolution so peter you want to make that a form of a resolution to appoint him mr uh, curtis yes we have a second second by miss frazier all those in favor aye opposed carried okay vacancies uh, vacancies building ground building maintenance worker number six fire prevention building code enforcement officer part-time health services registered professional nurse office of the aging aging meal site cook probation probation officer trainee and public works highway construction supervisor <coughs> two any questions on any of the vacancies yes uh, just because about the meal I missed that. I missed all the office age. I'll refer to the chairman. Well, D was just going to see how it went without having somebody there for the time being. And if okay. it was necessary to fill the position, that she'd move to do it later. But she wanted to give it a trial period without somebody in that position. Are there concerns, specific concerns, Claudia? I think the staff um, and the volunteers, which that's a whole other issue, the staff are concerned that there is a lot of work without the supervisor there. Okay. And I'll go talk to them. We can certainly address that through uh, Ms. Park. I guess and while I mentioned that, the volunteers, I just want to um, apologize on the record for any implication that the volunteer drivers are doing anything wrong. I, I, I do not, I did not intend for that to be the case. I fully support the, our volunteers and um, immensely appreciate their efforts every single day to get <laughs> meals to people in our county. So I do want to apologize on the record to, to all of our volunteers and thank them for their amazing service and I, I think that maybe we should revisit that as well. Okay, so noted. Thank you. Any other things to come in front of personnel? Okay, motion to adjourn. Supervisor Melino, second by Supervisor Medivic. Thank you. All right, you're up, Matt. Peter.